national champion, of course, of uh, Canada, has been so many times. Took a break for the 14-15 season. And that a big thing to do, a brave thing to do, a good thing to do. He was fourth in the Grand Prix final. How will he do here? Patrick Chan of Canada. A quad toe, triple toe combination to start. Just develops such fantastic speed. Excellent, one of the best that I've seen him do. Triple Axel. Next up. Just a Good speed. Ah. Down in the axle. That's one of his least favorite jumps. The consistency on that one hasn't been great this season. Loving the choreography. Hangs on to the triple boots off steps. Beautiful, light, edge work. <laughs> he almost let go too much there. And the quality is evident, isn't it? The confidence is back. Just one little flaw in that program. And he won't be happy with that because it's not perfect. But so much of the Patrick Chan of old on display there. Super performance. Really interesting. And I find it fascinating to, to wonder why Patrick has chosen to come back. He was a three-time world champion. He was an Olympic silver medalist. He'd taken time out. And he's elected to return to competition fully aware that the likes of Yuzuru Hanyu is running away with world record after world record. And he was quoted in the press as saying that he's come back a different man. He's, he's not come back necessarily to be champion every time, but because he looks for that wonderful feeling. And after the Four Continents, he skated a, a truly phenomenal performance in the long program at the Four Continent Championships recently. And he described the feeling after the event as better than any world title that he'd had. Mm -hmm. And so he's obviously coming back with a whole different focus than some of those younger competitors. This was one of the best I've seen him do. Quarto, triple toe. Nice. And I actually think now you can you can actually see now in Patrick a different attitude. He looks more open in the face, happier on the ice. Not so happy there though. And that was the triple axel. And this thing of taking a year out, it's, uh, it can, I, I don't know, I, Way back, I would have loved to have the courage to do it, but the association, everybody around you, the pressure is to, to not do that and then to not come back. But he has never, I, I would have thought he's never won the Olympics, so I'll give it a go, because yeah. that's the ultimate. Yeah, of course, of course. What Patrick's going to have to really do is to consider adding another quad jump to his arsenal. 
looking at the, the technical score here, Patrick's, as you just saw, doing triple loots off steps, whereas both Javi and Yuzuru are choosing to do a second quad now, and many of the other guys are going for that. You see Bo Yang Jin doing the quad loots and the quad toe. And he that's, nearly lost it there, didn't yeah. he, on that moment. <laughs> that's becoming something that will be of necessity leading into the Pyeongchang Olympics. Patrick's going to make a decision after this event as to whether or not he will compete next year in the lead up to the Olympic Games. There's David Wilson, his choreographer on the right, and Kathy Johnson, who is his coach. A and happy team. So much to admire, <laughs> as you'd the expect score, from score. that. Uh, and the check. frustration oh, as well. Now, what will it be? Short program score. Shomo Uno has 90.74. It's a lot better than that. And this is a season best. 